Hello and welcome back to the Botania Brewery build that I did not too long ago. If you watched that video, you will probably understand everything in this very easily because I haven't changed the mechanics. I have just, I don't know, what can I say, made them more stable and better looking and more compact. So I have removed the redstone stairs that I had up here. I'm using the redstone P2P instead. I have removed one subnet and have less components in it. Um, all right, and this one is also a very important change. The hopper hook petite. Um, so the normal one, it had a quite good reach. So items on the ground out here, they were picked up by the, uh, by the hopper hook. Um, and that would mess up the build, the crafting step completely. So I got the great tip of using this one instead. And the range is, well, it's not a huge range. If you can take a look at this one. Now it has, let's see, it's bound to that mana pool. But so the range might be better. Let's see, one, two. Nope, so that's okay. You see how short reaches has? So it's only two blocks. Two blocks to the any side. So this should be picked up, but not this one. And that's exactly the reach in here. So this block on the edge is covered, but since I have glass there, no items will be within this. So I can put something here and it won't be picked up. So this won't mess up the system. So that's kind of great. Um, so, so that makes me more confident of using it. So, it. so as long as the items drops down in the correct order, then everything will be just fine. And make sure they fall in the correct order by setting the recipe with the flask or, or vial first, and then the rest of the items. That makes them come in this order up here, the glass, uh, the vial or flask would be here. Oh, see, it was first. Or else the hopper hook would pick up the other items, so that wouldn't be a good thing. They end up, the product end up, ends up in the chest. And once it's there, the comparator will output the signal strength of one, so that will, that's enough for one block, but in, inside the network, you can have it for as far as you want to. So it's connected to both the import bus over there and up here. So it's the same network, but I can just, it's just for transferring the signal. And both of them are set to activate once per pulse. So the stopping item up here will be sucked up at the same time as the product in there and it'll be sent into this interface. And are there anything else? I, there's nothing else, you see there? That's the whole reason why we have the hopper hook. They get stuck on, on top of the brewery at times, but since the hopper hook can reach them, this is not a problem. So let's see, we have import bus. This is the P2P tunnel for redstone. And the storage bus is here for both the product and the stopping item. So the, I, it's quite compact. It looks pretty good now. It's uh, I don't know how to improve it unless there's a good way to get rid of hopper hook and only pick up the flask instead. That would be like the me the the only improvement to this build I can think of right now. But it's not needed because it works great as it is. So I don't think there's much more to say about this. There might be other ways to do this uh, to, uh, to make it even more stable. But since this is extremely stable as it is, as you can see, I've crafted hundreds of, uh, of vials and flasks without any problems. So I think this is uh, almost a finished build. <laughs> All right. 
I think hope you think this update was interesting because I really think it's a great improvement of the previous build. Even though it's the same mechanic, it's still a good improvement. Anyway, take care. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.